Hello, hello everyone. It is Jackie from Pocket of Preschool. And today I want to take you on a little tour of my gingerbread five senses unit. Um, it's part of the Little Learner Science Bundle. So if you want to grab it, the link is at the top. If you own the Little Learner Science Bundle or the Giant Curriculum Bundle, just go download um, the bundle again and your um, gingerbread five senses unit will um, it'll be there. And then in the comments, I want you to tell me, um, do you do a gingerbread unit? Do you do it for like a week, two weeks? Do you kind of t do it in December? Do you do it in January? Tell me all the things um, in the comments. So I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to show you the brand new unit. Are you ready? Okay. So this one is just like all the other science units. It has um, the writing paper and it has the vocabulary cards. And you can see, I since it's a gingerbread five senses unit, um, all of them, all the gingerbread um, five senses vocabulary cards um, have, have kiddos or um, students doing something with a gingerbread. So they're smelling it with their nose, they're seeing it with their eyes, they're um, whispering to each other as they're baking. They're touching it and they are tasting it. Um, so those are the vocabulary cards and then those are the giant posters. Now I like to print them too and put them with each sense. Um, that one I printed I think six to a page, but you can print them four to a page if you want those posters smaller too. You can totally do that. Directions on how to print things smaller is on like page two or three of the resource. Um, so that can help you out too. Um, here is the um, the, um, read aloud because all the, all the science units come with the read aloud. And then what I did, and you can do this, or I'll tell you a different way. You can do it too in a minute. So you can set up your table for just one cent. So this is the, um, the sight activity. So it's a, I see with my eyes. And then I just made a little mini sensory bin, um, with beans since beans are brown, like gingerbread. And then I put the things inside and then rather than just having them find it um, so they can see with their eyes, pom-poms, bows, eyes, candy canes, buttons, and ribbon, they can use the tweezers and build a gingerbread man. So they can see it like a, like a I, spy, I spy and build type activity. And then you can add some tweezers for um, to add in some fine motor work. And then you can also put the vocabulary card with the... Um, sense activity as well. So that is the sight activity. Let me show you. This is the touch activity. So they are kind of like mystery bags. These are just bags I got from the dollar store. And then I touch with my hands. Um, and then there's all the different things in there that have to do with a, um, with a gingerbread. Um, so like they would touch inside like this one you can tell has a candy cane they can touch around and then feel it and then grab it and then see if they're right or if they're wrong um, and there are the little labels for the bags just so you know they know that those go and here is the smell activity so it's I smell with my nose and then I just broke up some cookies in here so they can smell it and then gumdrops whoops sorry about the light or the glare, hot cocoa, a pine tree, cinnamon, and a candy cane. Um, so you can tell that one's the pine tree. And I, um, so these jars, these are just plastic salt shakers from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I like to um, not cover the bottom so that way they can see, um, they can kind of check and see which was, which was which. And if they're right, if they're smelling, and then once they smell it, they can put it on on the mat and then there are smaller cards if you want to stick them on the jars but you, they can also um, decide if it's like a yummy or a yucky smell to them so that is the um <coughs> the smell activity and then that i hear with my ears and again i just printed these the large posters off smaller um these are just little i think they're like craft jars from the dollar store um but that way they can listen and then they can look and um, to kind of check and see, but this one obviously is like a broken, a broken cookie. So we put that one on there. That one is sugar. So yeah, so that is the sense of sound activity. And then there also is for this, um, this one, 
um, there is a little emergent reader and they just cut on the lines and then they can color it in and they can take that home. So that's another little fun thing. Oh, <coughs> so I was going to say, if you don't want to have each activity out, what you can do is take them and put them in tubs. So you would take all of the hearing activities and put it in a bucket and you can make it match too. Like I would probably put this in a red bucket since I put red tape on that, put the, um, the activity with the books and the jars and that way you could have uh, more than one at the table um at once that especially if you're doing um, a unit that's maybe only a week or two um that we could have um, more of them out so you could do um each um sense would have a tub it also comes with the parent letter they're all the different types of writing paper there's the um the lined the single line and then the double line there is a book list and journal covers as always and then some of the whole group activities. So there's a taste test. So this taste test, they had to say if, if it was yucky, okay, or yummy, and then they can vote on it. And then there's also this worksheet and then you, they can say what their first bite was, what they ate first. And then there's also this um, five senses um, activity. So for this one, they you're gonna have them give each kiddo a cookie and you're gonna go more in depth um, on it. So you can say, have, they can ex, um, have them tell you how it looks, how it smells, how it feels, how it sounds, how it tastes. Um, and then there is a worksheet with that one too. And this one is great to talk about um, all of those um, describing words like hard and soft, all the opposites too. So that's a fun activity for that. And then for a fun comparison activity, I did a dough versus cookie. So just grab some gingerbread dough. Um, you can either use Play-Doh um, or you can buy real gingerbread cookie dough from the like refrigerator section at the grocery store. Um, but I did put the Play-Doh recipe in there in case you um, just wanna do Play-Doh. But you can talk about how it smells, how it looks, how it feels and how it tastes. And they still give everybody a little piece of dough, give everybody a little cookie. And I think these I just got, um, like at the, I just found them in like the Christmas cookie section or whatever at the grocery store. Um, but you could, they can compare. So like the dough and the cookie both smell like cinnamon, how it looks. And that's, what, it's a great way to talk about opposites because the dough is soft. The cookie is hard. Um, the cookie is bumpy. The dough is smooth. Um, and then for sense of taste, you can talk about too. It's like kind of like a really little simple um, safety sneak in, um, health and safety, <laughs> health and safety objective. Talk about how there are things that are not safe for your body to eat, um, like cookie dough. You really shouldn't eat because there's raw ingredients in it and it could make you sick. Um, so little health and safety snuck in. There is a page on um, not um, in the emergent reader about. Um, not eating things that are not healthy or safe for your body. And then there's also your typical taste test with the sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. And I tried to do um, this activity also in my other five senses unit, but I use different, um, different foods. So like for sweet is marshmallow, salty is crackers, lime is sour, and then black licorice is bitter. Um, so yeah, and then there is a worksheet with that one too. And then for organization, so I, I'm not a binder person, so I just put my units in the sleeves and it comes with a whole bunch of photos. These are all in there. So these are all the teacher direction pages. There's more about the tubs I was telling you guys about. Um, so that way you have a visual on how to set it up, how to make it. Um, so that way it makes planning a lot easier for you. And I put each of my um, science units in these tubs. These are from Michael's. Um, so you can do that, or there are um, like binder spines too, if you wanna use, wanna um, put it in a binder. So you get all of this, and again, so, and all updates for, from me are always free. So you just, well, all you do is if you see that some, something that you have purchased has been updated, and you can go to the My Purchases tab and select um, Recently Updated, um, and it'll tell you all your resources that you bought on TPT and if they've been updated or not. And then you can also click on it and it'll give you a description of how, um, how the resource has been updated. And all you do is download the document again and you are good to go. And the, the update is there. Um, you guys love it and you guys have an amazing day and I will talk to you soon.